Okay, so first of all, the keyboard shortcut Control Shift and Down Arrow will let you select the whole of a column. But if I try and do this with a column that has blanks in it, it will stop at every single one of the blanks. The easiest way of fixing this is to create an Excel table. Then we can just hover over the column heading until we get a black downwards pointing arrow and then click to select the whole of the column. Or we can use the keyboard shortcut control space to select the whole of the column. But let's say you don't want to have an Excel table. In this case, the keyboard shortcut control and space will still work, but it will also select all of the cells at the bottom. So there is an extra step, which is control shift and up arrow. So the selection will only go down to the last cell in the table. Also, you can just click to select the whole column and then use control shift and up arrow to select the data. But this becomes a bit more complicated if your table doesn't start in the first row. And there are lots of other keyboard shortcuts that you can use. In order to understand these keyboard shortcuts, it's helpful to know that holding down control and then pressing the arrow keys will move you around the edges of the table and holding down shift and using the arrow keys will let you select or deselect individual cells. So that is why the combination of control shift and down arrow will select the whole column. We can then use shift and right arrow to select additional columns. And this selection will move around the active cell, which is the white cell here. In order to move the active cell, you need to use the keyboard shortcut control and full stop. Or control and period if you are American. Basically just control and dot, whatever that is for you. And this keyboard shortcut will move the active cell around the corners of the selection. So we can now use shift and right arrow to select just this one column. Then let's say you don't want to have the column heading selected. Then we'll need to use control and full stop again to move the active cell to the bottom and then shift and down arrow to deselect the column heading. Now we can still use the keyboard shortcut control and space and then control shift and up arrow. There's just an extra step in order to deselect these cells at the top. We need to use control full stop to move the active cell to the bottom and then shift and down arrow until we have just the numbers that we want selected. Now we can also use the keyboard shortcut control A and that is the keyboard shortcut for select all and it will select the whole of the table. Then we can also use the keyboard shortcut control shift and end and that will select all of these cells down to the last cell in the spreadsheet. So if I select this cell here and then use the keyboard shortcut control shift and end it will select the whole of this column. And if I click here and then use the keyboard shortcut control shift and end, it will select these two columns. Now, if you have just part of the table selected like this, you can then use the keyboard shortcut control shift and left arrow, and this will sort of flip the selection so you will have the other part of the table selected and then we can use control shift and right arrow to reverse this selection. Now, if you have something else in the spreadsheet, then the keyboard shortcut control shift and end might not work the way that you are expecting it to, because now Excel sees this cell here as the last cell. We can still use this, we just need to do control shift and left arrow in order to get back to selecting the whole table. So you should be able to use some sort of combination of all of these keyboard shortcuts in order to select whatever cells you want. And that is everything.